on the local front. Professors from three major medical schools have reportedly decided to resign en masse on condition to protest the government's reform plan, while those from more than a dozen are weighing up whether to follow suit. After a meeting today, an announcement is due tomorrow morning. Yoon Hee has the latest. Professors from 24 of South Korea's roughly 40 medical schools are deciding whether or not to collectively hand in their resignations. An emergency response committee of professors went into an online discussion starting at 7 p.m. on Friday. The professors say they'll announce their decision by 10 a.m. on Saturday. So far, among the so-called Big Five hospitals in Seoul, professors at Seoul National University, the University of Ulsan, and Catholic University have finalized their decision to submit resignation letters if the government takes any legal action, such as suspending the licenses of junior doctors. Meanwhile, the health ministry on Friday morning urged the professors not to resign. The government once again urges the junior doctors to come back to the field for the public and for their co-workers. Doctors can be respected when they stay with the patients. Some of the general hospitals which filled vacancies left by the departures of most junior doctors with professors are now under emergency response measures. Seoul National University Pundang Hospital is now only carrying out emergency surgeries due to a lack of doctors, and the number of surgeries has decreased by about 30 to 50 percent compared to before. During a briefing on Friday, the government thanked the medical personnel who have stayed at work. While the severity and emergency indicators in the medical field are stable so far, the government is considering the public's inconvenience when using medical services and the exhausted medical staff still doing their duty very seriously. The current conflict was sparked by the government's plan to increase medical school enrollment by 2,000 places starting in 2025. Doctors say that an expended quota cannot be a fundamental solution for long-standing issues, like a shortage of essential medical services such as pediatrics, obstetrics and gynecology. The government said the quota increase is inevitable, as South Korea currently has just 2.6 doctors per 1,000 people, far below the OECD average of 3.7, and that it is needed to resolve regional health care disparities. The government unveiled the allocation plan for the new quota on Thursday, with 80 percent of new med school spots going to schools outside the capital region. Ian Hee, Arirang News.